this video presentation, we're going to talk about the fridge that we fit in our VW camper vans. Now, this is very important because we're finding a lot of people after the handover process might not use the fridge for a certain period of time until they actually go camping. And there's a lot to take in when you get a handover on one of these beautiful vans. And more importantly, there's a lot to take in throughout the whole van itself. And we're finding that people are making a very, very small, simple mistake. And it's so easy to make that we thought it's important to correct it now to preserve your van and more importantly, to preserve your van leisure batteries. The fridge itself that we do is a double access fridge door. So it opens both ways. You can grab it via the two handles, which means you can access it from either side of the van and it's switched on via the power button outside. When you turn the power button on, you will get the temperature of the fridge outside and inside. You can also press the little snowflake button. This will allow you to adjust the fridge temperature for the ice box. And there's a little plus and minus here, which is your temperature adjustments. To switch the fridge on, you simply press the power button. To switch the fridge off, you simply again press the power button. Where a lot of customers are making the mistake is when the fridge is in the on position, they are pressing and holding the power button. All this does is give you a little green light here. Now this green light means the fridge is still on but the display has been turned off. Now, if you pan back out for me a second, I'll have a bit of a chat with you about this. A lot of people will say, well, that's a bit silly then. Well, why have you got the display to turn off? Well, what we didn't want was a white light emitting here where your feet are is, or is on a night time and you're having something that's just brightening up the bottom of the van. When you're in your van on a night time, you've got all your blinds up, etc. It's very dark inside and we didn't want that white light emitting. So this gave you the option to turn the display off. Again, a lot of people though are pressing and holding this power button getting this green light and thinking the fridge is turned off and then completely depleting the leisure batteries. So just to run through again, power button to turn the fridge on, power button to turn the fridge off. If you want to turn the display off, press and hold the power button that will turn the display off. And then in the morning when you wake up, if you want to turn your display back on, just simply press the power button. And then if you want to turn the fridge off, press the power button. It really is that easy. So I hope you enjoy using it. Do bear in mind as well, if you want to, you can open the fridge fully. You can take the ice box out if you don't want to use it. I've actually got frozen ice packs in there. Again, just however you want to use it. I take a lot of the storage out the bottom as well, but more importantly, that's the information regarding how the display works. And we hope you find that useful. Bye for now.